Right the way through, we have Araya, Tsugawa, Sverison, Evers, Cho, Choi, and Wenham. Argentina, Japan, Iceland, Netherlands, Korea, Hong Kong, and Norway. Lanes one to seven, rip are full. Mark Evers is uh, a favorite in this event, a former world champion. A good 212 swimmer, but expect the faster times come final. Sverison of Iceland will go alongside him in three. Oh, just fixing his swimsuit, Choi Wakit. The tighter the better for swimsuits. Might not be overly comfortable at first, but I'll tell you what, for water dynamics, the tighter the better is helpful. Araya, Tsugawa, Sverison, Evers, Cho, Choi, Wenham. Brilliant start for Sverison of Iceland going in lane three. Sverison, four years ago, a gold medalist at the London Games when he won the 200 free. He failed to medal in the 200 free at Rio 2016. But Evers, now the fly is among his uh, weaker strokes, and Evers is still challenging for the lead at the moment. So if this is any indication, he might very well be coming out on top come the, uh, the 200 mark. But at the 50 split, Evers is not out of it as he touches second overall just behind Cho of Korea. Yeah, Cho's first split was 27.69, but there was only 15 one hundredths of a second in it, as you say. Eva's not his preferred stroke, but now that he's settled into the backstroke, looking extremely strong and now managing to build, well, quickly build, it must be said, a full body length lead as they head into the second turn. Well, he's, uh, he's very strong in the backstroke, but he's also very strong in the breaststroke, is Mark Evers. And he's not going to be uh, tested if he takes a lead in the, the final 50 with the uh, freestyle. So a good little, a little high in the action, but uh, very technically correct action in the pool. Again, high elbows and a long pulling stroke with a powerful kick for uh, Evers as he gets into the pool and into his rhythm in the breaststroke and indeed is just extending his advantage. And this will set him up nicely for a uh, strong back end. He's going to come in around about the 2.12 mark, swimming at this pace at the moment, maybe a 2.14. But uh, Mark Evers is not going to be going near his fastest time, but he's certainly going to be swimming a, uh, a quick enough time to post uh, a little bit of a statement coming in. Oh, he's taking it very easily now, so he's going to go even slower than a 2.12, 2.14. Evers is just realizing what a lead he has. He's just going to bring it home very slowly and comfortably. Cho is looking good for second at the moment, while Tsugawa in lane two is making a charge, and uh, Sverison is coming back. But indeed, well, he's picking up a little and does. 2.12.07. It's a Paralympic record here for uh, Mark Evers, ahead of Cho Won Sung of Korea and Tsugawa. The way he slowed down for a moment, I thought he's not going to push at all but Mark Evers with that slow gliding stroke in the 53 has done more than enough to come in in Paralympic record time so very strong swim he could go 210 with the way he swam that race just based on what we saw he could knock another two seconds off easily well delighted is Tsugawa with his time third overall this is just dominance from uh, Evers. All he needed to do was hold in in the fly in the opening leg. Which and he, he did, did, didn't he? And that's it. I mean, if he touched the top three and within striking distance, he knows he's going to win this race by a good five, six seconds. And indeed, a Paralympic record 2.12.07 does take it by uh, over five seconds from Cho Won Sun of Korea. Takuya Tsugawa of Japan, third fastest. Sverison should sneak into the final, sub 220. So confirmation of the eight swimmers who do advance. Evers ahead of Nakajima, ahead of Hammer, with Cho, Tsugawa, Schluter, Sverison, and Michi, who sneak into the last eight of the men's 200 IM SM14.